Good evening Envision users. Tonight we're going to talk about creating a piece of drill that looks something like this. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of different tools involved, so we'll take you through it step by step. We're going to go ahead and create a new show. It's just going to be blank, we're not going to use the wizard, and I'm going to add some performers. Because I want three groups of spinning circles, I'm going to use a number divisible by three, so 24. I'm a trumpet player, so I chose trumpets. Pull them onto the field, and I'm going to go about setting up three groups of eight. You'll see the significance of why I've aligned them like this in just a moment. Right now I'm just setting them up on the grid so that they're easy to select. Now I'm going to go ahead and select each of those three lines and create a group out of them. Groups just let me call up those individual performers in the future when I want to use them. So here's group one. Group 2, and Group 3. So if I use the Select, go into uh, User Groups, press the Select Group button, you can see that each of those groups of performers gets highlighted. Just making sure that I have everything set up properly. Now it's time to start putting them on a form. So I'm going to create a circle. and I want 24 dots specifically on that so I'm going to lock it to the number of dots give it 24 and it's time to get our performers onto the circle now there's a bit of a trick here if I use my options just like this they're gonna all go in order by group by group by group so I'm gonna go to selection ordering and sort them horizontally now if you notice they're interleaved by group I'm going to grab that selection and add it to the circle and now if I go and I grab my groups we'll select user groups 1 you can see that they're evenly spaced out along the circle So let's go ahead and create a new set and give them a bit of time to get there. So we're going to change our 8 counts to 24 and turn up the tempo just a little bit to make it more exciting, 180. And navigate to our new set. I've got my first group chosen already, selected. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate them. and show you what that motion looks like just them walking from dot to dot go back into groups select my next group of performers I'm already on the second set so let's drag them a little bit further this time you can see their paths changing so I know about what their circle is, circled path is going to look like deciding whether to put them in somebody else's position or their own original positions within the circle. You can look at what that looks like and I think I'd like them to make a bigger circle something like that and just trying to align them and grab, go ahead and grab our third group and we're gonna have them travel around that in that same circle further the further they travel the tighter their uh, inner circle begins or becomes 
you can see that in the, the path data being drawn. Okay, let's go ahead and play that and see how it looks. So now this is a little bit different than I had it at the beginning. Now everyone is moving in the same direction. It's got a, kind of got an iris effect. It's kind of nice. Let's take a look in 3D. So now it's like we have these th groups of three lines coming through the center. It's kind of nice. But let's go ahead and create what we had at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to go back and grab the second group. And instead of rotating them counterclockwise, I'm going to rotate them clockwise by about the same amount. And there they go. And take a look. So now we have the second group of performers, the inner circle, if you want to call it that, the second circle, in counter motion with the first and third group. Let's take a look in 3D. So we still get a few lines showing up in the middle, which is kind of nice, but we get that contrary motion happening between the three groups. That's all for today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks a lot. Good night.